Hello, people. Let us look at some ophthalmology uh, question papers, guys. Get, uh, let's get started here with the long answer, long questions, okay? Causes of colored halos, they are asking, guys. Basically, you can have corneal edema, you can have acute congestive glaucoma, cataract, right? Management of primary angle closure glaucoma, they are asking, uh, what is this? They are saying the signs, symptoms and management of primary angle closure glaucoma. They are talking about angle closure glaucoma, guys. So, you will have to write angle closure uh, the sus uh, suspect angle closure, uh, then you will have angle closure glaucoma, right? You will have a suspect, then you will have an angle closure, then that person will become glaucoma. So, how will you uh, uh, see the signs in these people? You will do gonioscopy, see the uh, Schwalbe's line and the uh, trabecular meshwork and all that you will write. What will be the symptoms? These people can have colored halos, then <clears throat> they can have uh, vomiting, right? Angle closure means what and all they will have pain. They are asking symptoms here, they didn't ask sign actually. Sign means what will you write? You will have to write visual field defects, everything. They will have what tunnel vision, uh, they can have tubular vision and all that. Management, you will talk about what? Surgery, you will have to do uh, basically, go, uh, you will have to make sure that the angle is opened up, iridotomy, etc. Then coming to the next question here, anatomy of lacrimal apparatus, you will give and then uh, with a neat, neat label diagram, they are saying and how will you uh, manage uh, chronic dacryocystitis? Basically, you will do probing, ballooning, then what uh, they are talking about, DCR, DCT, all those surgeries. So, what are the features of alkali injuries to eye? This is more dangerous than acid injuries because it is lipid, it can uh, dissolve lipids, isn't it? So, in how you will manage, wash it, etc. Then entropion causes and treatment, uh, what are the causes of entropion, guys? Age can cause this, etc. Treatment, how will you do? There are some surgeries, you will have to explain the technique. Vitreous hemorrhage causes and clinical features, basically this will, vitreous hemorrhage advance, uh, will can, can cause sudden painless loss of vision, isn't it? Uses of lasers and I give all the lasers with the uh, uh, wavelength and the uses. So, here you have the eczema laser which has the least wavelength, it is used in photoablation, you can shape the cornea, right, uh, basically in LASIK. Then argon laser you will use in trabeculoplasty, then you have the double frequency NDAG laser, uh, you will use it for what? Okay, then coming to femtosecond laser, this you will use for uh, raising a flap in LASIK, then NDAG laser you will use in uh, capsulotomy in posterior capsule um, if there is uh, opacification especially in after uh, cataract right in laser assisted dcr you use the holmium yag laser diode laser guys diode laser is this double nd yag they are using that in pan retinal and photocoagulation is it just check that guys then coming to the next question here uh, clinical features and complications of morgagnian cataract so morgagnian cataract is that hypermature where you have the nucleus which has dis has sunk down because the cortex has uh, liquefied right so, Morgagnian cataract, all that you will write, complications, uh, it can lead to glaucoma, is it? Then coming to acanthamoeba, keratitis, protozoa in contact lens users, but now in other people also, very difficult to diagnose, treat, etc. How will you treat it? You have some specific medications for this. Propamidine, hexamidine, polyhexamethylene, biguanide, PHM, we don't forget, very important, chlorhexidine, very important, guys. Then, uh, same thing they are telling, propamidine, etc. This is multidrug therapy. PHMB. Gonioscopy, you will check the angle, uses, you will write, uh, you will have to say what and all you see the uh, four things, then angle you will measure, uh, how much the angle is open, etc. Hypermetropia, optics and treatment, uh, basically you will have to say the image for parallel from far, it will fall where hypermetropia, behind the retina, even the accommodation is at rest. So, latent hypermetropia, manifest, uh, then you have uh, what other types of hypermetropia you have. Treatment you will give uh, basically um, convex lens, right? Remember all that. Keratoplasty types indication you have the penetrating uh, uh, keratoplasty, you have the lamellar, deep anterior, endothelial, all that indications. You have optical, therapeutic, then cosmetic, all those you will write. Then um, what else? Congenital glaucoma, bufthalmos, uh, how you will treat gonioscopy, goniotomy, all that you will write. Then what else? What am I doing? Let's uh, focus. What are we looking at? A question paper of ophthalmology. Uh, three uh, causes of ptosis. Mechanical, you can write one one cause. Chalazion, chalazion, all that. Then you can write so many other causes. Glaucoma treatment, three drugs. Write uh, timolol, you can write. Uh, write the classification. Latanoprost, bimatoprost, brimonidine, all that you write. Corneal edema causes, we already told you. Colored halos. Uh, will be there because of corneal edema, but corneal edema causes what can be there. 
can it be because of acute congestive glaucoma can it be because of um, keratitis check that guys then coming to iol power calculation power is equal to a minus 2.5 uh, L minus 0.9 K, isn't it? Where L is the axial length and K is the keratometry the reading, that's the curvature of the cornea. Then you have three types of meiotics. Meiotics, the pyelocarpine, yeah, pyelocarpine, eco, something was there, right? Then what else? Uh, I think uh, meiotic, which makes it small, small. I think opioid, look at this, heroin, morphine, uh, fentanyl, codeine, all this. But why didn't they put uh, pilocarpine and all that? Pilocarpine, one more is there. Eco, I'm thinking this one, ecotheophate. Isn't this uh, meiotic? Okay, then let's move on to the next question. Asteroid hyalosis, what is it? Calcium in the eye. Yeah, in the vitreous, calcium containing lipids, unilaterally asymptomatic. It is usually seen in old people. Uh, diabetes, hypercholesterolemia cholesterolemia no effective treatment anyways it is calcium containing lipid isn't it okay next question guys um, what is this contact lens complications you can write all the tecanthamoeba and all that then a lot of other things you can write what can you write contact lens complications dry eyes you can say then uh, you should not give it in any disease of the eye like episcleritis, scleritis, iridocyclitis if there's mental incompetence you should not give chronic dacryocystitis, blepharitis you should not give but what are the complications they didn't say these are more like contraindications iris bombay guys when you have uveitis anterior there is seclusio pupillae then there is uh, iris bombay then there will be uh, glaucoma right then what else will you see here um, uh, you can see uh, acute uh, this is uh, angle closure glaucoma isn't it so basically write all that then how will you treat it iridotomy and then you can do in the other eye prophylactically then fluorescein dye uses guys so what are the three uses of fluorescein dye just find out and write that uh, tear film and all you can find out right and if the aqueous humor is draining etc then uh, three uh, then you have the fun uh, uh, what is it? fluorescein angiography right F fundus fluorescein angiography then dry eye test guys you have the shomer test then what else you have you have the tear osmolarity, tear breakup time and all that you can check, okay. We looked at just one paper. We have two more to look at now. Look at this paper here. Long answer, they have asked about fungal corneal ulcer, satellite lesions, all that you'll have to write. No, narrow angle glaucoma, again, narrow angle glaucoma, very important. Diabetic retinopathy, all that um, exudates you will write, then cotton wool spots, then what else will you write? Interstitial keratitis, basically only the center part, that's the stroma of the cornea is involved, uh, tuberculosis, etc. Remember that. Acute iritis um, is nothing but your um, anterior uveitis uh, type of it. Write all that. Then allergic conjunctivitis, guys, that is your vernal, it can be classify they have asked so you can have uh, vernal keratoconjunctivitis simple is there then what else you have clictinular yes then you have complicated cataract basically because of uveitis then uh, vitreous hemorrhage and its management again same question very important right uh, astigmatism basically here you will write the uh, regular irregular then you have the with the rule without the rule right uh, in with the rule it is something to do with v v has a uh, vertical has more um, uh, curvature something like that without the rule all that you write okay then coming to endophthalmitis the causes you will have to write it could be a complication after any surgery or injury sympathetic ophthalmitis etc then coming to malignant myopia guys focus uh, how is it going guys malignant myopia malignant myopia is nothing but pathological myopia they are saying but anyways uh, there's no terminology called malignant myopia in the textbook then coming to discuss pupillary pathway remember from the eyes where will it go optic nerve optic chiasma optic tract then you have the lateral geniculate body is it then you have some radiations all that you will write pupillary pathway so you have to write the return one you have to write the pretectal nucleus edinger westphal nucleus ciliary ganglion your short ciliary nerve etc then coming to short answers, guys, we're going very fast from now. Just focus. We're looking at some question papers, so previous question papers. Layers of cornea, you will write the epithelium, the stroma, the endothelium. Then you write the Bowman's membrane, which is the basement membrane for your epithelium. Then you have the Duas layer and the Desmet's membrane, which are your, um, uh, you can say, uh, for your endo, what am I saying? Endothelium, yeah. Then uh, focus, guys, uh, sympathetic ophthalmitis, you will write because one eye is an exciting eye, the other guy becomes a sympathetic eye, write the theories. Then coming to um, the sudden uh, loss of vision, so it can be painless or painful. Painless will be your uh, 
uh, CRVO ischemic, then you have the vitreous hemorrhage, etc. Then you have the painful will be your acute iridocyclitis, chemical burns, etc. Then three signs of uh, regmatogenous retinal detachment. Guys, regmatogenous retinal detachment uh, is because of your, uh, they're asking for signs. So signs, basically these people will have what a tear, they'll have a uh, uh, sudden loss of vision, is it? Um, a hole, the horseshoe, a uh, lattice degeneration, all that you write. Then three indications for contact lens. Indications for contact lens, guys. So basically if they have astigmatism, usually if it's any unilateral condition, which is more power, you know, when they cannot balance it, like uh, they can give contact lens, they can give it in occlusion therapy for amblyopia, right? Uh, then they will give it for what? Um, and isometropia, if I'm not wrong, unilateral aphakia also you can give. So basically you have optical indications, right? Keratoconus, irregular astigma astigmatism. You have therapeutic indications like uh, for corneal diseases, for healing, you can give for aniridia, for uh, uh, drug delivery, you can use right uh, then uh, coming to preventive indications you can prevent simblepharon exposure keratitis trichiasis you can uh, protect your uh, cornea right then coming to diagnostic indications you can even do diagnosis with contact lens major causes of dry eyes guys you'll have to write based on the layers of the uh, eye you can write lasik surgery you can write vitamin a deficiency you can write keratoconjunctivitis. Uh, conjunctivitis what is this sicker if you are wearing contact lens for a long time, if you have chemical injury, trachoma, if you have, if you have uh, drug induced, you can have, right, lot of reasons are that. So when will you do dactyrosystectomy instead of dactyrosystorhinostomy? When the person is having a fibrosac, tuberculosis, syphilis, right, when the, when there is bone disease, etc., you can do. Then coming to uses of atropine and the eye atropine, you would use as a cycloplegic. So if person has uh, anterior uveitis, if they are in pain, right if corneal issues are there they have pain then you can do this you can also use it as a mydriatic then what else um, atropine one more is there guys wait they say in malignant glaucoma or something you can give this but that is uh, kind of uh, strange right then coming to types of iols you have the uh, uh, bifocal etc basically you have the anterior uh, iol you have the anterior chamber iol you have the posterior chamber iol which is very common you have the iris clock type of iol so many types of iol toric iol so many types you can have classification then material also you can give then coming to ocular features of aids guys this is important question you have done uh, this is toxoplasma posterior uveitis cytomegalovirus fungal corneal ulcers etc Congratulations. Now let us look yet another question paper, very different from uh, Central India. Let us look at this. These people have a very different approach, guys. They have MCQs here. Um, so basically, what is the diameter of the lens? They are asking nasolacrimal duct is directed how? DBL, right? So DBL, DBL means downward, backward and lateral. So let us see the answer. Downwards is there. So all of them are correct. Outwards is these two and backwards is this one backwards is it dbl okay outward is lateral great next coming to kaiser fleischer ring is pathognomic of what it's wilson's disease very good then visual acuity is a test of um, acuity acuity light sense yes it's not of color is it of form or contrast i think contrast you have different things but what is this light sense some people are saying it is a form sense also just check it okay light and form they are saying a fake wearing a fake glasses will most commonly notice what Spherical aberration, right? That's what I remember. So they have spherical and chromatic aberration, it's saying. Then what is this? Um, then all these paper questions will have multiple um, answers are as correct, is it? Okay, conjunctivitis and newborn is commonly caused by, I am saying gonococcus, but I think now it is not very common, isn't it? So what is the other cause now then? Commonest malignant tumor of the lids is, commonest malignant tumor, malignant, malignant, guys. What is it? Malignant. It's basal cell carcinoma. Commonest malignant tumor of the lids, guys. Okay, basal cell carcinoma next. Tears are produced in newborn after when, guys? Uh, initially, they don't have tears, right? Intermittent proptosis is a sign of. Intermittent is because of um, orbital varix, periodic orbital edema, orbital hemorrhage, recurrent vascular tumors. So, it is mostly to do with orbit. orbit okay. So, orbital varices. Okay. So, we'll go with orbital varices. Okay. Great. Then, um, asthenopic symptoms are most marked with. See, don't confuse this uh, intermittent uh, proptosis with the pulsatile one. Pulsatile is a separate one. Look at this. Pulsatile proptosis is a separate condition. Okay. Let's go back here. Uh, asthenopic symptoms are most marked with. I'm thinking it is because of, um, you're trying to focus, 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 isn't it? What do you think the answer is here, guys? 
Okay, let's move on to the long answer type question. You can answer any one looks like open angle glaucoma. So, glaucoma is very important. Open and closed looks like open angle. Then you have the CRAO. They have asked uh, CRAO as an important question. Then coming to any two questions, you have the bacterial corneal ulcer. Okay, then you have, uh, they have asked about senile cataract. Are you able to see senile cataract they are talking about? So, you will talk about the nuclear and the cortical. Remember, nuclear, you will talk about the colors and cortical, you will talk about the uh, what was that lamellar separation into centers it then you have the immature then the mature then the hypermature all that will be the senile cataract then coming to <clears throat> they're talking about management also you have to explain uh, explain the surgeries as ICS, FACO and all that coming to sympathetic ophthalmitis very important questions look like we have seen this in more than one question paper now uh, exciting eye, sympathizing eye, then coming to fungal cordial ulcer. Oh my god, again, same question. You'll have to mention the uh, normal uh, fungus that cause all this and how do you treat it? Very difficult. They'll have mild symptoms only, right? And this can happen because of antibiotic abuse or uh, steroid abuse, right? Coming to spring catar, again, very important allergic conjunctivitis plus keratitis can be there in this case. So, spring catar, vernal keratoconjunctivitis, remember, very important. Then traumatic cataract, guys, you have the rosette, rosette cataract, isn't it? Traumatic, you write that. Then you have the anti-glaucoma drugs, mention the anti-glaucoma drugs, the classification examples, if you can give the dose also. Vision 2020, mention all the diseases from India, uh, you have uh, seven, isn't it? Uh, they have added uh, three from India, removed oncosarcosis and added three. Just look at uh, that one. Then coming to anterior uveitis, uh, very similar questions only they are asking in all these question paper. There they had put it as acute iritis. Here they are putting as anterior uveitis. So finally, what did you understand, guys? Uveitis is very important. Okay, the anterior uveitis is very important. Uh, then you have the glaucoma, both angle, open angle and on the closure, very important. Then you have the keratitis, the fungal one seems to be very important to these people. And what else did we see? Cataract, senile cataract is important. Okay, what else did you see, guys? Um, basically, we have seen sympathetic ophthalmitis also being asked a lot of times. Okay. So that's it guys, in this uh, video you have looked at three different ophthalmology question papers from uh, different parts of India. Bye bye.